time bright and breezy you know it's really encouraging to have you here so thank you for coming along this morning i'm sure the listeners are going to be really interested to know about your um the book that you have written so um when you sent me the email i was really like thrown back by your childhood it's like <laughs> whoa you were raised up in kenya you were raised up in kenya yes Indeed, yeah. Um, so actually, like my family on that side have been there for a really long time, um, and I grew up on a tea farm. So yeah. I know an awful lot about tea, yeah. um, the the crop and, yeah. and, and how it's made, and you know which tea bags you should buy. I always yeah. tell people a little plug, but I always go for Yorkshire tea. It's always, <laughs> it's always the better one. Um, yeah. So in just mind. an incredible childhood. You know, yeah. off on safari, I was able to you know grow up in the sunshine. Yes. Very little, very little vitamin D deficiency. Yeah, <laughs> just, it was really lovely, yeah, it actually. It just sounds so um, colourful. Yeah, and it just a, it was an incredible experience, and it, it really gave me a, an amazing world view. Yeah. Um, and I ended up not having you know that bubble mindset that I think a lot of people yeah, can have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And instead, I, I had done you know encouraged me to travel, it encouraged mm. me to find out more about other cultures yeah. and. Um, I love the Kenyan culture. I mean, they're all the different tribes, for example, they've all got very, very different, fascinating insights. And, mm. um, you yeah, know, so it was, it was absolutely incredible. So were you actually born in Kenya? Yes. So born you're... And I'm actually a dual citizen as well. So wow. I'm half Kenyan and half, yeah. half English. Wow. So your parents are both, um, are they both British, but they decided to go over there? Or where's the, um, the background of your parents? Oh, actually, we're going to go further back than that. Like, go back to, I think it was like 1918. Um, I had some, some ancestors go out to Kenya and they became farmers. Mm. Um, and they've sort of stayed there, continued on farming of all different types. I mean, I think I had a great grandfather that, that <laughs> made fruit turnips. Yeah. Um, and then like some other kind of berry and then eventually they settled into tea so on my dad's yeah. side yeah they uh have had three or four generations in really? kenya yeah. yeah and then um my mom met my dad mm. um when he was in the british army and yeah. then went out there um she now lives back in back in the uk she okay. lives down in down in devon but um, okay. i still have family there i still yeah. go back whenever, yeah. whenever i can wow it's so so amazing it really is and i do find like you say i do find that people who have either traveled or lived abroad mm. and their mindset is different yeah I think more, you need to get out there you, that's, that's, that's you what can. the problem I realize is it's a privileged position but yeah you know when you if you can travel even, yeah. even outside of London yeah you know, exactly. starting point. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway let's have a listen to Backstreet Boys all I have 